Dracaena is a slow-growing houseplant that's pretty hardy and easy to care for. Dracaenas are also commonly known as corn plants. They produce long, narrow leaves on thick stems that grow upward from a cane. In this video, we'll talk about how to prune a Dracaena's leaves and stems to manage its size and shape and keep the plant looking its best. We'll also go over how to propagate a new plant from those cuttings. Let's get to it. Welcome to Shoots and Leaves. It's been a couple of years since this Dracaena was pruned, so today I'm gonna to give him some TLC. It's spring in Northern California, so it's the perfect time to prune and propagate this plant. I'll remove his old leaves, trim the stems, and create new plants from the cuttings. For this pruning and propagation, we'll need the Dracaena, sharp, clean gardening shears, a large container for the cuttings, and fresh filtered water. I clean my gardening shears with rubbing alcohol and a paper towel, so you may need those items too. First, we'll prune the plant, starting with the individual leaves. The leaves naturally only last a couple of years and will turn yellow once they've reached the end of their lifespan. When they start looking unsightly, prune them back to the stem. To do this, I gently hold the top of the stem and pull the old leaf back until it comes off. You can also leave the old leaves on the stalk and they will turn from yellow to brown and fall off themselves. The second step is to decide where you want to prune your plant. You may have decided to prune your corn plant because the leaves are looking old and you want to encourage new growth. Maybe you want to change the shape and look of your plant, or maybe you just want to propagate a new plant. Whatever the reason, where you cut your plant is up to you. There's no right or wrong answer here. If you want to create tiers, then cut half the stems at equal heights. Just don't cut it all the way to the soil because the plant may die. If you want a bushier looking plant, then trim the stems all at the same height. I like to give my plant visual interest by staggering the height of each stem, so I cut the stems at varying levels. Once you've decided where you want to prune your plant, take your sharp, clean gardening shears and cut the stem at a 45 degree angle below the leaf line. Cutting the stem at an angle helps it to heal quickly and reduces the risk of the plant getting infected. You can see where I pruned this plant two years ago. The cut part of the stem is healed over. The new leaves grew from the nearest node, these circular white lines around the stem. To propagate the cutting, you'll need to include at least one node, since that's where the new roots grow from. It's a good idea to include more than one node on the cutting, because that will increase your chances of a successful propagation. Next, take your cuttings and place them in the container filled with fresh, filtered water. Make sure at least a few nodes are underwater, but keep the leaves dry. The cutting should be placed in a warm spot that receives indirect sunlight. Replace the water in the container every couple of weeks once it starts to look cloudy, and roots will eventually appear at the end of the stems. Of all the plants I've propagated, cuttings from this Dracaena have taken the longest to grow roots. It might take up to two months before you see roots starting to form, but don't get discouraged they will eventually show up. Once your cuttings have roots that are at least a couple of inches long, you can plant the cuttings in a potting mix. This plant was propagated from my large Dracaena when I last pruned it two years ago and is still happy and healthy. And there you have it. Those are the steps for pruning and propagating a Dracaena. If you liked this video and want to see more like this, then please hit subscribe. Keep gardening and growing. I'll see you next time.